Sean, this is our first morning here in Kentucky. And you're elk hunting this year. <laughs> Did you ever think you'd be elk hunting here in Kentucky? It still seems like a dream. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's it's incredible. I never thought I'd be here. You really got lucky. And you won this to a drawing. Yeah, that's it's unreal. About I mean, a thousand people put in for that elk drawing. Just and takes one though. That just takes one. Yeah. And that's what happened. You get a phone call out of the blue, it says, guess what? You're coming to Kentucky to go elk hunting. And what, what'd you think about that? I couldn't believe it. You know, I said, I said, you're not kidding me, are you? So uh, the time is here. We're about a week and a half before the season. We're familiarizing ourselves with this particular piece of property. I think we're in a spot where we're going to hear some bulls, and we just got to find and set up on a good location. I'm really excited about this. It'll be here before we know it. I'm looking forward to it. Let's slip on down here and see what we can't find. Okay. Like a bull owns this territory. Yeah, he's telling me this is my house here. It looks like he meant it. That's a bugle. You hear that? Yeah, that was awesome. That was my first. He's wanting to talk this morning. That bull's a pretty good ways off. The great thing about this location here is everything from that ridge all the way to the end of this flat is all in range. Just barely, but it is. It's yes. a pretty good sized field. It looks ideal to me. I'm not an elk, but I mean, I'd like to live here. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> it looks like a good spot. So we know there's several, several bulls and we're hearing them. We're seeing the signs. It just tells us those bulls are consistently using this location. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. I'm feeling good about this property. Yeah, me too, especially we know there's some here. We know they're here. We'll get out of here and get our scent out of this area. So it's first Saturday in October, this means it's bull elk season. So we're out here. We saw a couple bulls coming in. Nothing we really wanted to take. We're on a beautiful spot right here. You can see there's a couple of bulls and all these hardwoods behind us. There's a lot of acorns this year. And uh, we've been hearing from a lot of people that the elk have been staying in the woods now. The three we saw were not. No. So they're, they're a little bit scattered out. So we're gonna have to do a lot of listening. You brought your son with you. Yeah, today. son Matt. Matt, appreciate you coming. Well, See you're you. carrying the sticks, and we got an extra set of eyes. It's always a good thing. So uh, hopefully we're uh, we're gonna pop over one of these ridges, and it happens real fast sometimes. Sometimes yeah. it's first ridge or two. Sometimes it's the fiftieth. So we'll <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> but uh, we know there's elk in this area. We've been seeing some. We've been getting some good reports. So we'll keep slipping around here and, and looking over the bowls and setting up and doing some light calling from time to time. And if a big bull gives us some direction on where he's at with a bugle, well then that's all the better. <laughs> Game on. Yeah, exactly right. So we've been at this bowl for five, ten minutes. Let's, uh, let's slip on down to the next and set it up and do it again. Sounds good. set up here a little bit. Plan on spending about half hour, 45 minutes, just as quiet as we can be. So we, we may give them a couple light calls here in a little bit, but let's let everything settle in. All right, let's walk all around here. Oh, I see a bull. He's going in behind them bushes. Well, Matt, I hate that we're losing you. This hunt has been a lot of fun so far. Yes, sir. It's been a great opportunity. You just don't have places like this back where I'm from. And uh, unfortunately, I wish I could see this thing through with you guys, but I know you guys will definitely finish it up. We're gonna, and... we're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna get us a, we're gonna get us an elk. We've got a couple hot tips and uh, you know we're gonna play these out and we're gonna finish it up. But 
we really wanted you here to help us drag it out. I, I knew that's what the whole, whole case was. <laughs> so, thanks, thanks for coming. Lot, We've had a lot of fun. Guys. We're going to take care of your dad and we're going to put him on an animal. Sounds great, man. All right. Have a safe trip. Thanks, brother. All right. Side, you know, a decent bull, it would have been uh, plenty of table fare, but just didn't have the headgear we're looking for. We'll get an opportunity at a bigger one. Just got to get the right one. Let's get some lunch, get rested up, and we'll be back at it. Sounds good. All right. Good shot. He's, he's down. Get ready. No one get on in. He's down. That's a good bull. Oh, that was a great shot, man. That was a good bull. Thank you, Jesus. This is the deal right here. Hop in here. Pick this thing up. Take it off. Let me take you okay. home. Look at this bull. You smell him. You smell that bull? Yeah. Look at there. Tell you what, this bull is very symmetrical. I mean, I'm telling you, there's gonna be very few deductions. Not that scores matter. No. I could care less if it had drop tines and a bunch of junk, but this thing is very symmetrical. It's real chocolate, little bitty white tips on the top. Check that out. He's been fighting some, you see these? Yeah, he scarred up some. Yeah. Yeah. But if I was as big as him, I, I believe I could handle myself pretty good too. <laughs> Got a really, really, really nice bull here. You ready for a new freezer? <laughs> I'm ready. Don, I know that you, uh, we, we thought that this would end up this way with a big bull in our hands, but now that it's happened, you feel a little bit surreal. It's finally hit me. <laughs> I mean, not, uh, probably as hard as I hit that bull when he failed, but, uh, but yeah, this has been a dream of mine. You've got yourself a trophy bull here. Let's go ahead and get, get the truck and get it up here and try to get this thing loaded up before it gets dark. Congratulations again. I'm so happy for you. This bull's gotta go to Tennessee. <laughs> It's going to Birdstown. It's going to Birdstown. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. All right. I got your rifle. All right. Appreciate it. All right. Matt's going to be green with any of your whatever color you get. I don't know what it is. That, but that color, right? Yeah, he's going to be that color. Well, Don, I can't believe this elk hunt is over. It happened so fast. There's a bull out there. We run up. It's bedded in a waller. We don't even see the animal. We're no. going in for it. It stands up, and we got literally seconds to put a shot on Yeah. Screen. And I'll tell you what, the more you stand here and look at it, the more impressive this animal gets. Yeah, uh, it's, it's incredible. This has been a dream of mine, and today it unfolded. And I want to be sure and thank you, Chad, and Jameson. You've been great to hunt with. I wish we could do it again, and maybe well, we can. And someday. maybe we can. It's been, it really has been a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, safe travels, and I want to thank the Kentucky Fish and Wildlife Foundation. This is how you won this tag. Yes, definitely. And uh, that, that's who put us together to make this hunt happen. So thanks again, and safe travels. Thank you. All you right. guys safe travels too. All right. Appreciate it.